everyone, Bandit here. Welcome to the Bandit Flight Simmer channel. And today we're doing another leg in our flight around the world in the Diamond DA62. Starting off in Sochi, Russia. And we're going to be flying eastbound. And our destination today is going to be Turkmenbashi in Turkmenistan. And I'll just show you a quick uh, little route map here. So we're going to be flying on instruments. Uh, we're going to be following along this mountain range here uh, from uh, Sochi over to uh, the Caspian Sea and cross over the Caspian Sea to Turkmenbashi here. And uh, along this mountain range, uh, fairly high mountains, over 15,000 feet, so we do have to climb up to as high as uh, 20,000 feet. We've got this one sector here where we have to be at uh, minimum flight level 195. So. So uh, that's maximum altitude for the diamond, so we'll be pushing that today. And uh, it's good weather though, hopefully we get a good uh, tailwind here, I think, to help us out, because it's a pretty long leg, and, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, let's uh, get in the cockpit and get things fired up. Remember, uh, if you enjoy the content, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more trips like this, or other trips, uh, just... Uh, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment on what you'd like to see on the, on the flights on the channel. So without further ado, let's hop in the uh, cockpit and uh, get things going. Okay, so let's get the power on and we will program the uh, system in. Now, there's a lot of waypoints and unfortunately you cannot load via airway, so you have to put each point in individually. So. Just to save some time and battery, I am just going to put in the departure, the destination, and the first few waypoints. We can do the rest on route. So you are SS. Going to UTAK. Okay. And uh, first uh, waypoint is. Uh, Binol, B I N O L. Next waypoint is Goober, T U B O R. And the next one we'll put in is Ulnas, U L N A S. Okay, so uh, now we can put in the departure procedure. It's off of runway 24 and it is going to be the Ben 01 Delta. Uh, and transition, yeah, it goes up to Ben also. That's what we want off runway 24, so we'll load that. We'll just have a quick look at the map here. Make sure it all looks, makes sense. So, yeah, that looks good. And then we're southbound along the north end of the mountain range there and then across the Caspian Sea so yeah that looks good We've got about 10 more uh, waypoints or maybe more than that to put in so we can do that after we level off we got lots of time to do that then so okay next we'll uh, get the chart and we'll put that up so it's ready to go so Sochi we want a departure we're doing the uh, Benno 1 Delta it's right there that is, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing here. So we're going to be taking off runway 24, climbing up along this uh, Benel 1 Delta track up to Benel with those altitude restrictions. Top uh, altitude in the climb is 17, so we'll set that. And uh, we'll meet these uh, restrictions, no problem, on the way out. And that'll allow us time to get high enough until uh, we hit the mountains there before we hit Benel. Uh, so again, let's go look at the weather real quick, and then we'll get started up. So info. Check the weather for Sochi right now. Winds out of the west at four meters per second. Good visibility, 16 degrees, uh, clear skies. Looks uh, pretty good. The altimeter is uh, 1012. We'll set that. And yeah, let's uh, get back and uh, get started up. So we'll go back to map. 
that ready to go. We're parked right here. We're just going to taxi out to the runway right behind us here. So don't need to get the taxi chart up. So just leave that up there for now. Okay, so I already turned on the fuel selectors. So let's get the master on the generators. Prime the fuel. So that warning. Clear to the left. Clear to the right, except for those guys. And uh, let's uh, start the left engine first. And we'll start the right engine. Okay, that looks good. Get our avionics master on. Set our flaps. Get our taxi light position light on. And, uh, looks good. Got a full load of gas. So let's uh, head on out. Parking brakes released. So, flaps are takeoff. Turn our boost bumps on. That's good. Turn our P2 heat on. Say we got clearance from Sochi Tower to uh, take off, so we'll turn our landing light on, strobe light, taxi light off. Get our CDI set up for nav. So flaps our takeoff, and uh, everything is set. So as soon as we get on the runway, we'll uh, head on up. are good. There's 80 knots. Rotate. Gear up. So, autopilot's engaged, tracking the GPS, flight level change, 100 knots, up to 170. Got a message light there, just approaching the waypoint. So, gear is up, flaps are up, boost pumps are off, turn our landing light off, and climb power is set. So, let's uh, continue the climb. Talk to you as we get a little higher in the uh, climb out there, level off, and then we'll get a good view of the uh, mountain range as we uh, hit eastbound. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, so we're climbing out here pretty nice uh, right now. And just looking, the weather is nice and clear, and instead of going all the way out here and going in the wrong direction, I'm going to ask uh, ATC if we can go direct to Benal. That'll save us a little bit of time. We should be able to make that altitude uh, no trouble uh, by the time we get to bend all there for above. Uh, go back to the chart here. We want to be uh, at or above 13,000 or 130. So, so let's uh, say we ask ATC that and he clears us direct uh, Benel. So we go to direct to flight plan, select Benel, activate. See, it's uh, cyclist direct to Benel there, so 
save us a little bit of time instead of having to go all the way out here and back. So we are pretty tight for gas today and the flight plan says we only have about uh, an 8 knot uh, tailwind component on average so it's about a 4 hour flight total. So we want to uh, save as much gas as possible in case the winds uh, aren't that accurate. Okay, so I'll uh, check in with you again at the top of the clock. See you in a few minutes. Okay, we're just coming up to uh, Benel here. We're uh, just gone through the transition altitude of 150, so we'll set our uh, barrel meter to 1013, which is standard pressure. And put it up here. And uh, yeah, we made that altitude for Ben all 13 or above. We're going to hit 17 and we'll uh, use that as our initial cruise altitude for eastbound flight. We're going to level off here, so we've got a thousand feet to go now. And we're getting a little bit of a push right now. We've got about uh, 30 knots on the tail, but I don't think it's going to last. And then uh, after Ben all here, our next two waypoints, so then what we'll need to do is uh, enter the remaining waypoints in for our route. So we'll start off with that as soon as we get leveled off here. Mountains on either side. I think that is the highest peak in Europe over there. I did uh, come across that tidbit there. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, it's well over 15,000 feet. A little bit of cloud off in the distance, but uh, pretty clear skies overall, so good day for some high altitude flying. Definitely want to stay above these mountains here. So we get up to speed, I'll set 85% power for our cruise. Pressures are looking good, fuel's looking good. So I'll set 85%, just let that speed slowly build up. Okay, so uh, just to enter the remaining waypoints is pretty easy. You just go back to your flight plan. And uh, we'll go down to add on route waypoint. Next one after all mass was Reslo. So we just enter that, and that sticks it in the, uh, in the flight plan after the last waypoint you entered. And so I'll just go through and re-enter the remaining part of the flight plan there, and I'll, uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch me do all that. So I'll check in with you again after we do that, and then we'll uh, set up some nav as well. See you in a couple minutes. Okay, I got the route all entered, uh, so we'll just go down to the map here and have a look at it. Zoom out. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. There's a lot of waypoints I had to enter there, so not a big deal. Lots of time to do that on a four hour flight, so they're all in there. The track looks pretty good as per our flight plan, so. There's only one nav aid on the route that we could use as a backup, and that is uh, this like Kilo Lima. So why don't we put that in uh, our nav one column um, here? So I just click on that, and I just get the waypoint info, and there it is. So we'll get the frequency, puts it in the standby, and we'll move it up to our active nav for nav one. So that's there for us. Good. Got a pretty good ground speed, 220. Still getting a good uh, 30 knot push here. Moves along nicely. Now uh, we need to climb up to for that uh, safe altitude of 195. So we need to climb up to flight level 200 at uh, Memza, which is right here. So we got a little ways to go, but as we get past Reslo here, we will request it to ATC climb up to 200. Now that's the wrong direction for, wrong altitude for the direction of flight, but but that's the maximum altitude we can go. We can't go to 210 
and we need to be above 195, so we'll just request uh, the wrong direction for about 100 miles just to clear that uh, safe altitude and then should be good. So that's uh, looking good for the flight so far. Hopefully the winds hold out. Okay, uh, I think we're pretty much all set up uh, for the first part of the trip here, so things are looking pretty good. And we will uh, continue along at this altitude, and uh, I'll check in with you as we get a little closer to that MEMSA, and then we'll uh, initiate a climb up to 200, which is the maximum altitude for this aircraft. So, of course, at this altitude, we do have our oxygen on, so our oxygen valve is open here, and we have the little breather tubes hooked up below our nose there, and, uh, and we'd have to have that for the duration of the flight. Okay, I'll uh, check in with you a little further down the route. See you in a bit. Okay, we're just coming up to Memza here, and we need to request flight level 200, so let's say TC cleared us to that, so I'll just uh, throw that in there, I'll put flight level change, and we'll set our Speed back to uh, about 110. Put some climb power on. And as you can see, we are limited at a higher altitude, we can't get 100%. So, so we just take whatever we can get as we uh, get less performance as we climb up higher. Once we are at that altitude, uh, we'll stay at that for, I think uh, we can go back down by a BAP knee. So if I look on the map here, BAP knee. So just need to be at that altitude till BAP knee, and then we can go back down to say uh, 170 or 190. Uh, still got a little bit of a push here, not too bad. So. So anyway, we'll uh, be at 20,000 feet for a little bit. That's the maximum altitude for the diamond. And uh, get you over most uh, areas of high terrain. Uh, once we get to the Himalayas, we definitely won't be able to climb over those. But, but, but uh, anyway, these uh, mountain ranges here, we can definitely get over them if we need to uh, on the uh, instrument flight plan. So, okay, looking good. 1,000 feet to go. Just going to level off and get back to our cruise, and then we'll uh, check in uh, a little further down the uh, flight plan here. See you in a few minutes. Okay, we're just coming up to uh, BAP me there. And weather's still looking pretty good. Just cruising along the north uh, side of the mountain range here. And uh, just looking at my chart again. The uh, restricted altitude actually goes to the next waypoint rope to, uh, where we have to stay at 190 and after that the safe altitude is oh we're what's going on here we're, uh, right oil pressure okay I need to get that engine back power lever back I need to cancel that warning I need to shut off that engine and get the engine feathered Okay, so the propeller is stopped. Okay, so right engine throttle is at idle. I'm gonna bump up the th good throttle. Speed is bleeding off. I got the uh, master off. I need to shut the alternator off. I'm gonna put the boost pump on on the good engine. Just sure we got good fuel pressure and so we're looking for a speed to maintain now the service ceiling on this airplane is 13,000 feet on one engine so I don't think uh, so we need to watch here so I declare an emergency with ATC we watch our speed as it slowly bleeds off here and then we're gonna have to start a descent uh, before we get to uh, blue line is 187 or 189 depending on your weight, so I'm going to go with 189, so we need 
start a descent here. So I declare an emergency with ATC and request a lower altitude. And just looking ahead, uh, looks like the terrain is okay. So uh, we need to go down to start a descent here. So I'm going to request a lower altitude, say of uh, ATC clears us to uh, 17,000 feet for now. So I'm going to select that and we will go uh, vertical speed and I'm just going to put a little bit of nose down to keep the speed up around 100 knots. So I'll put 200 feet per minute and that's keeping my speed up. So the next thing we need to do is trim. So see the uh, airplane is out of trim here with the engine failure. So we are going to apply rudder trim in the direction of the slip indicator. So we want to get it back to center. And have coordinated flight and then that will reduce the drag. So we got it back to center with some rudder trim there. So we're maintaining a good speed, 200 foot per minute descent. And uh, yeah, so we have, looks like, yeah. Uh, Lost our oil pressure on that engine. So now we need to start, start thinking of a plan. So we're not going to be able to go to our destination. So uh, you could talk to ATC, get uh, vectors for an emergency. Let's say we were in uncontrolled airspace here and, uh, and we're uh, not able to get radar vectors or something like that. So this is where this is where the nearest function uh, comes in handy. So go back uh, to our menu, we'll uh, pick up the uh, nearest and look at the airport list. So we've got different airports uh, on the list here and you can pick each one. One is six miles away. Gee, we should be able to see that. So probably might be back uh, this way here. So that uh, could be a good alternate to go to. And it's got an ILS frequency if we need it, but the weather looks good, six miles away, and it's on a bearing of three, four, seven, so off in that direction actually. So you know, we could easily go to that. It's got a 8,224 foot runway, and uh, let's just, uh, we can look that up so we can get some information on it, see some weather maybe. Yeah, the weather is cab okay, 18 degrees, QNH is 1014, uh, winds are variable from the east, northeast, so yeah, and we can look at the runways, so it's uh, 08 would be the runway we want to land on, so yeah, we can plan that, we can see what procedures are available, it's got an ILS for 8, so yeah, we can uh, use that as well. So. I think that's a good airport to go to. It's uh, closest. It's got a long runway. It's uh, very good weather. So why would you go any further? So what I'm going to do is uh, start a request a lower altitude. So uh, I will request direct to that airport. Uh, we'll load in a fix there, and we can load up the ILS. So let's go uh, direct to first. So we select the airport. back here, just going to get my direct to feature, so go to the airport, this one here, and we'll go direct to, and we'll activate that, so that is uh, just off to our right there, or left there, yeah, perfect, and start a descent, so if I look at uh, my chart here, I can see the safer altitudes up to the north there are 7,000 feet, so let's uh, select that for now. And I will uh, select flight level change and bring our power back. And caution check gear. So we got a good descent going here. Uh, we need to take off some of that rudder trim because we brought our power back. So 
back to coordinate it, and we're down on our descent to 7,000 feet. Now, we're going to get to this airport way before 7,000 feet, so what I'm going to do is load up the approach, we we'll do approach and load the RNAV for 8. We're going to activate that. Check our map. That looks good. We'll bring up that chart. Approach for the RNAV runway 8. Okay, so that looks good. We have that available if we need it. Let's get some more uh, airport information here. So the elevation of the field is 530 feet. Again, we were looking at the runway, it's 8,224 feet. And hard surface, and we're landing on runway 8. Looked at the weather, it was good. Coming through transition, the altimeter was 3014, or 1014, so we'll set that. continue on our descent. So it's going to take a while to descend from this altitude. So we're still actively tracking to that waypoint there. I'm just going to reselect direct to on it just in case. MG126. So we'll go direct to flight plan. MG126. Let's activate that. And that's looking good. Uh, another thing you can do is put the gear down to help you lose altitude faster, but uh, I don't want to do that because if you do put the gear down and for some reason it doesn't come back up, it might be difficult to maintain the altitude on one engine uh, with the gear down. So, so you kind of want to leave that till the last, until uh, you're on final approach. And, and so we'll leave the gear down. We'll just uh, slowly descend here down to our altitude. We could go a bit faster. That would speed up the descent here a little bit, but uh, but also what that does is means we'll get to those waypoints faster, so I'll do it at 130 knots, and then we'll uh, continue. So we only got six miles to go to that fix, so what I'm going to do when we hit that fix, I'm going to put it in heading mode and I'm just going to circle around until we're at a low enough altitude, probably about, if we go to the chart here, uh, yeah, once we're down to about 3,000 feet, the approach starts at 2670. We're going to come in visually anyway, we just got this as a guide, but uh, I'll just heading select it uh, and do orbits until we get down to that altitude. So we've taken care of the emergency, uh, the aircraft, just redo the trim here a little bit. Faster, so that looks good. We're down to one engine, and uh, yeah, when you lose the oil pressure, uh, I think on this airplane it's important you want to get that engine master off because in order to feather the prop, uh, you need to have some oil pressure, I think, left. So you want to get that done before you get to zero oil pressure. I, I've had it before where I lost the oil pressure and I didn't feather the or didn't shut off the engine master in time and. Now the prop was stuck windmilling at like uh, 700 RPM and it creates a lot more drag and, because the prop is not feathered. Now even though visually it's not feathered in the uh, simulator here, it would it is actually feathered uh, because otherwise we'd get a lot more drag. So, so uh, I don't think it simulates uh, showing the prop feathered here. So let's go outside and just have a look. So we're north of the mountains here, it's all looking pretty good. I think we're coming up to that waypoint, so let's head back inside. And yeah, I'm going to head in select it. And we will just uh, fly around this point here in heading mode until we get down to about 3,000 feet. So with this airplane, if uh, if we were continuing along over uh, mountainous terrain, uh, basically you would go down to your lowest safe altitude and then 
uh, a nice slow descent. You saw it was only about 200 feet per minute to, to descend there, so we, we're not descending very fast, so we've got lots of time to figure out what the safe altitude is, where we need to go. Maybe we need to get off track in this case. If we were right over the mountains, obviously going north was a better option. So it keeps us uh, over the lower terrain. Uh, and then as long as you're safe altitude, you can maintain that altitude, say it was 13,000 feet, then you can just cruise along till you can get to an airport that you can divert to. And uh, so, so you do have some time, but you, uh, when you're over high terrain, you do need to be aware of what your altitude is and what your safe altitudes are, where you can go, and what your options are. So this was pretty easy today. We were on the north side or the mountain range and lots of uh, low terrain to the north, so it made it a lot easier. So just uh, bring the heading around as we're losing our altitude here. Don't get too far away from this waypoint here. And it's in our fix here, so I want to stay within 10 miles of it. Losing altitude here pretty good. Side here and have a look again. This one. See that engine is rotating just a little bit there. Keep track where we're going. We start heading towards that fix there. So we can go direct to that uh, waypoint again. G126. I'll put it in uh, nav mode again. And we will just uh, now track that inbound to the airport. So if we look over the airport, should be over to the left here in this area here, I think, so lucked out with the weather today. Oh, there's 7,000 feet, so I want to keep that descent going, so we'll uh, go down to 4,000 for now, flight level change, keep the descent going. I'll go down to 2,500 feet or so as the altitude for the uh, close to the altitude for the initial fix, and we are just doing this visually. So, oh, there's the runway right there. So we're looking pretty good. So I'm just going to keep this going. I think we'll just continue straight in from here. So, we've got the runway visual. Our speed is good, our altitude is coming down, and definitely think we're going to make uh, make it to the airport, no problem. Speed's coming up, I'm going to add a little bit more rudder trim. Back to nice coordinated flight here. Altitude's coming down nicely. Okay. A little bit of high terrain on either side, but not too high. Pretty good. And we're nice and visual anyway. So once we get closer to our altitude, I'm going to just disconnect the autopilot and then we'll hand fly in from there. And, uh, we can use the gear and the flaps to lose that little bit of extra altitude as we're on a short final here. So I 
put our landing light on. Start easing up on the descent a little bit. Let the speed bleed back. I keep it around 110, so I'll bring in a little bit of power to go down. And this is the hard part is trimming the rudder off. And uh, flying here. Rudder trend. Pretty good. Okay, so I think uh, altitude looks good. Airspeed's good. I'll bring the gear down now. this uh, speed above 95 knots just because our single engine line is probably closer to uh, 89 knots because we're a little bit heavy. Bring our first notch of flap out. It's nice to have a lot, nice long runway to land on as well. is changing your power, your rudder keeps changing, so we'll go full flap now. Let the speed bleed off to about 95 knots. About 90 knots, get a little slow. Don't get any slower than that. The drag really comes on with that flaps there, so. Landing's assured, gears down, flaps are full. And bring it back to. There we go. Oh, wasn't the greatest landing, but we got her down. Maybe we'll just let it roll out here. So we don't need to stop on the runway here, we can taxi. Get uh, taxi off and then just do a normal shutdown. So, that's pretty good. So, get our taxi light on, any light off. Things are right here. Strobe light off. Bring our flaps up. Good. Just taxi clear and then shut down. It looks like they got a spot for us to park over here. I guess the uh, patrol tower called them and let them know we were coming in.
Nice and taxi, great on one engine, but there we go. Park brake set. And we will shut her off. Fuel pumps off. There we go. Wow. So, a little excitement on the trip today. I don't even know where we ended up here. Let's uh, see what this airport is called. So we go back. Point info. Uh, it's the Sir Severny Severny Russia. So yeah. Anyway, that's about halfway on our trip today. So there you go. You get to see what happens when you do have an emergency. Uh, especially at a high altitude like that. Definitely nothing to get too excited about. You do have time to react. Like I said, the plane's not going to fall out of the sky, although you're not going to maintain that altitude at 20,000 feet, that's for sure. But uh, you just let the speed bleed off. You get a nice slow descent going. You saw 200 foot per minute was easy to maintain over 100 knots. So, so And then you can come up with a plan and figure out what you want to do. And in this case, our plan was pretty easy. Nice weather. Uh, low terrain to the north so we didn't have really any terrain issues and yeah made it for a nice easy recovery to a uh, nice safe airport so so that's uh, the engine failure and uh, yeah I did program in this failure uh, I put it in uh, as part of the setup you can do in Microsoft Flight Simulator and I put it in I put a time frame between one and two hours into the flight so I wasn't sure when it was going to happen but uh, I knew it would happen sometime along the flight here so so uh, there you go. So the, we got to see an emergency. Not always a great thing to happen, but uh, you do need to be prepared for those kind of things. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the flight today. Uh, I guess this is where we're going to be spending the night till we can get our engine fixed. And, uh, and uh, then we'll uh, continue on our trip uh, once we get that done. So thanks for joining me today. If you like today's uh, flight, uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more flights like this and follow us along on our series of uh, flying around the world in the diamond, uh, hit uh, subscribe and uh, sign up for the notifications and you'll, uh, you'll see all the trips we do in the diamond as well as other content on uh, demos of other aircraft. So uh, thanks for joining me today and uh, hope you had a good trip and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, Bandit out.